Hi guys, it's Annika and today I am so excited to be showing you around the Mango House which is located here in Ayala Alabang village of Montenlupa City. So actually where I'm standing at right now is one of the two main entrances of the house and right behind me once you enter the house you'll be greeted by this beautiful wooden revolving door that consists primarily of the U, a local wood, and also ironwood or in Filipino, kamagong. So let's go inside and check it out. This is what I love to call the heart of the home. I think mainly because the minute you enter, you're greeted with so much personality of the house. Especially right here when you walk, you see immediately this waterfall fixture that cascades into this koi pond. One important thing to note about the house is that there are a lot of seamless transitions between the internal and external elements, which speak a lot to um, Gus Wilkinson of Gus Architectures, and he actually designed this himself. So right in front of the waterfall fixture, you'll see this really pretty setup this wooden table that is really perfect just for drinking coffee in the morning, hosting friends at night, a very multi-functioning space. I also love this a lot because it leads you into this hidden entrance into the house from the side, which is perfect for guests if ever you want to host or something, but it's just super serene and peaceful. And I think that's exactly the vibe you get from this house. It's this tropical oasis, but has a lot of nod to contemporary architectural technique. Actually, the house took, interesting enough, seven years to build, mostly because the main medium of material used to construct this house is Nara wood. And because of how rare this wood was to source, since it's built in slabs, it actually took such a long time to get enough material in order to support the entire structure. So you'll see it a lot in the house as a supporting elements in the ceilings and the walls. And interesting enough, the reason why it's called the Mango House is actually because of this tree right over here, which existed way before the entire structure was actually built. And it's a funny story. I, I like to call it like a funny coincidence because the house itself is actually positioned between the two most premium streets of Ayala Alabang Village, which is Country Club Drive and Mango Street. And I think the fact that the entire house was built around or centered around this mango tree speaks a lot to Gus Wilkinson and his approach as an architect because he really focuses on paying respect and preserving the integrity of the natural space that he builds on. And I think that's really cool. So. Let's go over here because I'm about to take you guys into the first room of the house. So the house actually has a total of three levels, all with accompanying powder rooms and bathrooms. And the lot area is approximately 1,300 square meters, whereas the floor area is around 1,500 square meters. So yeah, let's go proceed into the first room and check it out. Actually, as I mentioned previously, a lot of our doors are made with the same material. This one specifically is primarily Nara with the U accents. So inside, you will notice this is the room. Um, it's very well lit just because of how big the windows are, as you can see. The floors itself are super special because, as I also mentioned earlier, the main building material of this house is Nara. So these are actually big wood slabs of Nara that um, span across the floor. Over here, this is one thing I do want to highlight, just because as an accent to the house, the closets are custom made and imported from Italy. The brand itself is B&B Italia, and you can see that there are leather accents which are actually inspired by the Hermes color palette. Fun fact, this was actually originally purposed as a yoga room, and so you'll kind of see more why when I take you into the bathroom. And I'm really excited to show you guys this because this is the only bathroom that has this feature and I'm super in love with it. It's this built-in sauna. It just adds a lot of character to the entire space. Right beside it, you'll immediately see the shower area. And I just want to note that all the showers in this house are rainfall showers. So that's really cool. And this bathroom also is the only one that has this portable um, bathtub. 
it's really chic and why this is actually my favorite bathroom is because I imagine myself taking a bath here and facing this picture window or I like to describe it as a picture window but it just reminds me of a landscape I love how the windows span from the entire wall so when you're taking a bath you're like greeted by this natural light in the morning it's so refreshing and relaxing and the blinds actually are wooden and they are from Hunter Douglas so I'll take you guys over here because I do want to highlight the toilet fittings just because a majority of the toilet fittings in the house are sourced from Villaroy and Bach. So you'll see that consistently throughout all the bathrooms. So yeah, super awesome. Let's actually go into the first powder room when you enter the house, which is right over here. Okay, so this is the first powder room that I was mentioning to you guys earlier. Actually, what's really my favorite part about this room in specifically is the chandelier, which is sourced from Fernitalia. And I just want to show you guys something that I think is super cool. But I love how the light switches. I think it's so beautiful, adds a really cool factor to the entire bathroom itself. Obviously, the main use for this um, restroom is for it's open to anyone who comes in and out of the house, which is exactly why if I take you to the toilets over here, um, you are met with a normal standard toilet and there's also a urinal included. things I love about this space is how well ventilated it is and I think what's responsible for that is just how high the ceiling is and the walls and as someone who's 5'10 in the Philippines I haven't been to a lot of homes that are this spacious and grand in height so that's one of the things that I think are really cool and would also add to the unique value of the house um, before we enter the bedroom though let's just take our time to kind of appreciate this view I think this is one of the golden and winning factors of the house in itself. The lush exterior of the house, which wraps around the entire estate, was actually designed by a local landscaper, June Obrero, and he's responsible for the landscapes you'll see in Rockwell and Antonio's in Tagaytay. And what I love about what he did was he really complemented the pool. The pool in itself is actually I always say I have so many favorite things about the house, but everything's just so beautiful that I love everything. But it is also one of my favorite features. The pool is sourced by a supplier from Australia named Quartz, and it's actually shaped kind of concave to replicate the shape of a mango, and that supplements the entire man the symbolism a mango lends to the name of the house. The pool is around 148 square meters and has a graphilinic finish. It's also salt water. So when you swim, and I have swam in this pool before, it genuinely does feel like you're swimming in fresh ocean water. So amazing. It's like an oasis over here in the mango house. So let's kind of start in this aspect of the room. This is like a bunch of picture, um, picture glass pieced together. And I love it because it really honors the entire landscape of the house. I mean, you have this accessory staircase over here that leads you kind of to a walkway. Um, across the landscape that Juno Brera worked on. And then it also kind of just leads you directly into the pool, which is super inviting and adds to the ethereal oasis essence of the space. So let's go over here. I really love this because it is a super cute reading nook, or at least that's how I would describe it. I think it adds to the personality of this room also because it plays with different textures from the soft padding and how that kind of contrast the playful wallpaper scene here and you actually don't find that in any other room of the house so yeah i do really enjoy this room a lot the bathroom on the other hand this is much bigger than the first one you guys saw i want to kind of highlight the closets just because it fills out the entire wall. This is also a custom B&B Italia, and I love how the color hues of it are more 
brown instead of the orange or mess one that you all originally witnessed. That also kind of takes me to the toilet fixtures, which I did mention are all Villaroy and Bop, but I really do appreciate how this is just purely a white slate marble because I think that adds to this clean aesthetic that this bathroom kind of gives off a lot. You also have the accessory rainfall shower, which I did mention is found in every single bathroom of the house, and the toilet sits over here. Okay, so before we start moving on to upstairs, I do want to address a concern that many prospective buyers would have about this house, which is actually how there's just a lot of glass going on. So that kind of brings up concerns about privacy issues, but of course that's being taken into consideration because features are included with blinds that give you this option to really detach yourself from everything going on in the outside. Obviously, I think when designing this space, there was this intention to really honor and respect all the external aesthetics going on with the lush greens and the landscapes. But you also do have that option to really shut yourself off and detach yourself from it by using the blinds. And yeah. guys are enjoying the tour so far i'm about to take you to take a look at the second floor of the house but before that i wanted to pay some attention to this staircase it's actually super special because not only is it made by the U material which is sourced from some local mountains which makes it sound super cool but also it's called the floating staircase because as you can see there's no visible supporting structure so it does give off this illusion that it's floating in space when in reality it is just tethered to the wall so let's go upstairs Okay, so before I take you guys to the third bedroom, I do want to pause here because there is a bridge that's kind of connecting this point of the house to that. And what I love so much about this walkway is it gives you an opportunity to really look at the house from a different perspective. And you kind of get to enjoy the different environmental landscapes that are really being installed in different parts of the house. And also you'll notice there are a lot of different nooks around the house that you can lounge in, enjoy your coffee in, or read at. And I super appreciate that. So we're about to take a look into room number three. And I personally love to call this the jungle room because you guys will see why in a second. But this is actually the first room in the house that you'll be seeing that does have really high ceilings. The ceilings are made of the narrow wood slabs that I was emphasizing so much on in the beginning of the tour. So. If you walk around, you also will notice how this room has a completely different essence in comparison to all the other rooms in the house. One of the things that I appreciate the most about the um, design aspect of this entire space is how each room has its own sense of authenticity, but everything is really so well tied together by the same this color palette that is used, the integration of all the natural elements. So yeah, I think that's super awesome. Um, this is something that you will see and you won't really see anything like this in any other part of the house this custom closet from bnb italia was actually designed for the owner themselves because the person who did reside in this room did a lot of collectible sneakers collected keyboards so it's a really good way to kind of collect things and also display them in a sense so I love that. Lots of novelty items were once here, guys. So <laughs> just imagine what you would place in these shelves. Um, oh, before we go to the bathroom, one thing I want to highlight. This is something about the house I noticed when I first walked around. There are a lot of like unnecessary details, but the good kind of details that make everything better. So this is a door that opens to this balcony and it gives you a completely different view of the house. So when you walk over here, yeah, when you walk over here, you get a direct view of the mango tree, you get a different perspective of the pool. And yeah, I think it's just super pretty and it's a really good way to appreciate all the natural elements of the space. So I'm gonna take you to the bathroom now. And the bathroom has all of the same properties that you've already seen. So you'll be very familiar with the B&B &B Italian custom closets with the Hermes leather. You'll have the um, Villaroy and Bach toilet fixings, the rainfall shower head, and also the same kind of marble theme going on in the bathroom with the toilet. So 
This, though, is the best part of the room. It's exactly why I call it the jungle room. It's because of this beautiful balcony, which is my favorite feature of the room itself. Um, when you open this glass sliding door, which is protected by an automated curtain, which is super cool. I wish I could show you guys, but we don't have much time for that today. Yeah, you're met with this like really cool view of the trees and all like the terrarium that was installed in this part of the house. You also have like a complete view of the balcony of the master's bedroom, which I'll take you guys through later. And I just think it's a really beautiful thing to wake up to in the morning, being able to look over the pool. It's so serene and peaceful and tranquil. That's how I would describe it best. I do just want to point out this beautiful kind of wall structure. I'm not so sure what to call it, but to see those like the shape carved out of squares, I think lends a lot to the structural integrity of the house. And it's very supportive of the open ventilation going on and the high ceilings. Um, this is another really beautiful space that is being used as a nook corner. Everything is just tying together with how the owner and the designer wants to give the people who live in the house an opportunity to constantly appreciate the different elements going on in the space. Um, this, <laughs> I kind of have to go under it, but this is an extension of the mango tree. And what's really cool about this part of the house is that the saturation of plants is just more and more visible. There's also a wide variety of plants being used, very botanical. So it gives us this gives off this very urban essence, kind of reminds me somewhat of vertical farming, and I love that. Okay, so we've just arrived at the main entrance of the office and den space, but before we go inside, I kind of just want to highlight this walkway, which leads you to a corner garden that wraps around the office space, and you'll just see how much that adds to this room in a quick second. So let's go inside. Um, I am so excited for you guys to see this because it's absolutely gorgeous i think a really good way to describe this office room is how sexy and sleek it is um one really cool thing is that this is actually i think the only room in the house that has marble flooring and it has really high ceilings which supports the entire open ventilation system going on i think it's around four meters approximately okay so this part of the office exactly you were able to see the wraparound garden that i was pointing out earlier I think that it's a perfect blend of kind of the sense of escape when working with everything being work from home, especially during the pandemic. I love how you're kind of given the creative freedom to curate how you want to use this space in order to really best support your productive needs. You're also met with this glass sliding door that leads you to the walkway that I did point out in the beginning. And that gives you a super different view of the pool, of the house and everything. And it also, is kind of a room isolated from every other aspect of the house but because of the glass windows and because there are so many nooks around the second level it's isolation but still this feeling of you're not alone i guess um right over here is this super cool matte glass finished wall but what's really great is that it actually leads to this powder room and as i did mention every room in the house has a powder room to complement it What's great about this powder room is it the only powder room that doesn't have marble tiling. And this one is a completely different vibe. It kind of gives me like French chic avant-garde. And it does have a really special painting by a local artist named Justin Nueda. So I do really appreciate how different the aesthetic of this powder room is in comparison to everything else. And before I give you guys a tour, ooh, I'm so excited, of the master bedroom, I do want to add that this office has an automated um, speaker system that really wraps around the entire room. So if you want to play any kind of music to add to the ambiance or whatever, it, it's really a great place and a great experience. Elevates the experience, I guess, of working here. So yeah, such a dream. Okay, so we're about to go take a look into the master bedroom and I'm super excited. It opens with this beautiful walkway that's inviting with this super cute nook. Before we enter though, I do kind of want to talk about the door a bit because it's a custom Rimadashio piece and something that's really nice about this 
furniture making brand is that it's 100% ethical in the workplace and also known for creating products that are very sustainable in material. This door in specific is lightweight and is the medium of construction is aluminum and it has a really beautiful leather finish. So yeah. When you enter the room, I just want to highlight the size of the room. So this is one of the biggest rooms in the house. It's actually 100 square meters and the height is more than four meters. So that kind of puts into perspective that this is just as big as any ordinary apartment complex, which to me is crazy because it's just a bedroom. Um, the ceilings I want to pay attention to because it's adorned with all the Nara wood slabs that I was talking about in the beginning of the tour. Also the floor of the room is Nara wood slabs. So it's really nice to have that cohesive pattern going on within the space. I do want to highlight this area though. I think that these really adorable hug chairs, which you're meant to feel hugged when you sit on them, which I find super adorable. And complementing that with a super amazing glass window gives off this very treehouse vibe that you kind of get from room number three that I was showing earlier, the jungle room. So it's nice to keep that consistency alive. And I'm going to bring you guys to one of my favorite elements of the room itself, which is this beautiful custom-made vanity. The finish of the countertop and it being marble and how that kind of sits well with this different array of mirrors is super nice because it can also double purpose as a desk. So to see how this is a vanity but can also be functioned in a different way just adds a lot of value to the decorative aspect of it. So we're about to go take a look into the walk-in closet, which conjoins the bathroom of the master bedroom. And it opens with this really beautiful custom Rimadesio glass sliding door, which adds a lot of class to the space itself. Um, I think one thing to highlight is it's really nice to see how this room is really intentionally built for two people. So you can kind of start off with this massive closet, which provides a lot of ample space for storage. It also is a Rimadesio custom piece. What's nice about this is also how the glass is somewhat reflective, so it can also double as a mirror. Really pretty, adds a lot of class as well. And when you kind of walk around this, this is an, also an extra um, storage installment that's perfect for storing your watches, scarves, and jewelry, and yeah, a lot of other precious items. You're met with this custom B&B Italian closet space. And I do want to show you guys what it looks like inside because there are really cool sensory lights. And you also get a taste of the Hermes-inspired leather accents that kind of frame the entire closet. So yeah. And also just to look into how much storage space there is, I think what's really great about this walk-in closet is that while there are a lot of features to it, it still feels very spacious. And just to show you guys how beautiful this Italian chandelier is, I think it adds a lot of vibrancy to the room considering how the hues of this are very mellow and kind of more monochromatic. So let's go take a look into the bathroom. So the first thing you'll notice Exactly, that sound. So when you enter the bathroom, there's an automated toilet system right here and the brand is Toto. That's actually the only automated toilet system in the entire house. I love the whole marble finish of this. And exactly, there's a more high-tech shower system installment, the rain shower feature, and you're met with this really amazing jacuzzi that is built into the floor. That's actually my favorite part of the entire bathroom. But why I love this so much is because of the glass reflective ceiling, which reflects a lot of different elements in the house that belong on the external aspect. So the moss terranium and the different landscapes, super pretty and adds a pop of color. It also supports Gus Wilkinson's approach as an architect as he tries to seamlessly transition the boundary between nature and contemporary modern architecture. So that's super awesome to witness here. Here, I land at this really beautiful laboratory, which does support how this space is really built for two people with the dual sinks going on. You have the mixer, which is Don Brock, and it has a beautiful champagne gold finish. And it's atop this sink fixture, which is Villeroy and Bach. Um, the countertop itself is something I want to highlight because it's Calicata stone in a gold shade. So very beautiful, and it complements how marble this entire room is. And yeah, I love the chandeliers, how well lit it is. And it's just very refreshing in general. The 
last feature of the master's bedroom and it's this beautiful scenic balcony one thing that i do really want to add because it's important is how the um, narrow planks in the ceiling of the master bedroom actually extend into the balcony's eaves but more than that really what i see is the function of this balcony is that it's the perfect way to start your day and end it as well just being faced with this view at the end of a long day but also waking up to it being able to meditate just serves so much intimacy and i guess like um, attachment to the room and makes it more comforting in a sense so yeah i think that's really awesome <laughs> ready to go take a walk through in the living and private dining area of the house and when you enter it actually opens with these sky frame glass sliding doors which are imported from Switzerland and I think it accents the house really perfectly walking in I'm instantly gravitated towards this beautiful chandelier that's imported from Italy and the brand is for Natalia you'll actually notice how a lot of the furniture pieces that come with this this house are for Natalia itself for example these two Giorgetti velvet couches and these two leather cute chairs I want to also talk about this really beautiful shelf that's built into the house um, what I really appreciate about it is that not only does it have a lot of storage, but it also has these really pretty dim lightings that add a lot of intimacy once the sun sets and it's dark, but you're here chilling with your friends or your family. So beside the shelf is actually this super pretty wall. I want to place a lot of emphasis on this because I think it's clear that throughout the house tour so far, we haven't really seen any visible paintings, but I think that's because the actual design and structure of the house in itself is a painting and is really beautiful art. So for example, I want to start with the material used in this wall, which is actually Calacata stone in the shade of gray. And it's really complementary to these two um, local art pieces and sculptures made by Filipino contemporary artists. This beautiful emerald green sculpture by Orlina and this beautiful, I'm not so sure what the material is, but sculpture made by Castrillo. So yeah, love how the hues of it complement each other as well. And it's just super eye-catching. <laughs> So as I mentioned, I tend to have a really big affinity towards kitchens in any household. And this one in specifics is really special because it's actually a polyform kitchen. So I do want to start with this gas range wolf um, stovetop. Super good. A lot of professional chefs actually use this specific name brand. There's a Sub-Zero Ref. And one really beautiful thing about the kitchen space and the living space in general is that it actually has ducted windows, which means that the distribution of air throughout the room is more even than a normal external or protruding AC. So one really great feature about this kitchen is this concealed sink. It does reinforce there are no visual eyesores in the house. So anything that could externally protrude from the AC or air con to the sink actually does have this concealing or more like hidden factor to it and i do want to go off of that i do want to show you guys these pop-up outlets that there are actually two of these on the counter stop you kind of just lift it like that and it's super functional for the space of this kitchen if you're into baking or if you have um a blender you can just plug it in here super super convenient and i think it's clear that this space is very much for entertainment purposes so what's nice is that the, the designer of the home also considers the everyday factor of living here so i do want to show you guys the everyday kitchen which is through this hallway right here So this everyday kitchen is actually built mainly with stainless steel, which makes it really easy to clean. And yeah, I think it's a very essential feature to have in every home. First level is actually the basement so I'm about to show you guys what that's all about as I mentioned this is called the Senorita steps mainly because as you can see it's a very long set staircase but 
Because of that, the stairs are actually built to be kind of wide in nature and pretty shallow, so it's not tiring to walk up and down. So where I'm standing right now is actually this glass nook corner that segues beautifully into the basement of the house. It currently serves and functions as an entertainment room. There's actually a provision installed over here that allows for a roll-out LED screen, so very perfect for home theaters. But really, you can kind of multi-purpose the space into anything you like it to be. And forward, you're going to be led into the fifth room of the house, which is kind of like a guest room. So there's something really cool about this room too that I'm super excited to show you, but more or less, this is what it looks like. Here though, is this really pretty pocket garden that you can actually look down into from the second floor or the ground floor. I'm gonna open it because I wanna show you guys what it looks like. Obviously, this room has a lot of insulation being at the very bottom of the house. So having this pocket garden allows for a lot of open breathing room and a lot of sunlight to pass through since there's not a lot of windows in comparison to all the other rooms in the house. I think this is perfect for doing morning yoga or even putting like a really nice table here and having your morning coffee and reading. So it's super innovative and I love what they did to really elevate the space of the basement. This is the basement bathroom. I think what's really cool is because it's actually not attached inside the bedroom. You get this sense of privacy that the entire basement is like a separate house from the existing entity of the mango, stru of the mango house structure. So this is so beautifully laid out with a marble finish. There's some green plants to really incorporate the green and urban theme that is consistent throughout all the spaces. The other main entrance, which faces Mango Street. And this is exactly what I was mentioning in the beginning of the video, how the house is binded by two very premium streets in the village. And I think this is the most decorative aspect of the house because you're actually able to see what the genuine exterior architecture of the house looks like from the perspective of this side. I do want to point out some important features that the house does come along with. For example, a complete generator set and a fully functioning security TV system that's installed throughout the house for safety purposes. But I do really want to take you guys outside in the street of Mango Drive because I want you to see what the house looks like from the exterior. I think it's really great to look at the house from this point of view because you're able to see a lot about the actual design of it from the different levels and how things are elevated more than others. There are a lot of elements to the architecture of the house that is just super fun to admire and adore. And yeah, one thing I do want to add also is that as part of the smart home system, there's actually an automated feature that at certain parts of the day, the house automatically lights up in a way that truly like emphasizes its natural beauty and different aspects of it that yeah, are just so nice to see and visually pleasing to the eye. So let's go and meet back in the ground floor because there's one last thing I do want to show you guys. So in the rear entrance, this is actually one of the ways that you can find yourself into the pool area and the common area. I love it a lot because it is genuinely honoring all the landscape that has been built for this house. You actually physically walk through all of that. And I think that's a super magical experience, especially if you were to visit this house for the first time. So walking through, you kind of feel transported into this tunnel that is very urban and green. You're kind of on this trail, I guess, what you could say. It's also nice because it levels so perfectly with the pool that it makes you feel as though you're actually looking at an ocean or a lake of some sort.
Okay, guys, that is it. This officially marks the end of the tour. I am so grateful to anyone who actually stayed and watched the whole thing. But I really had so much fun showing you guys Gus Wilkins' amazing work, The Mango House. And to whoever ends up buying this in the future, come find me. I am going to be so jealous. Like, I definitely want to use the amenities this space has to offer for the rest of my life, especially the pool. And also, don't forget to show Golden Sphere Realty some love. They have a lot of cool things to offer and find them on Instagram and YouTube or TikTok. So yeah, thanks guys. Have a really good day.